Namaste. In travel diaries, let's travel to Ladakh. Hemis Ashokpacha village. A village that we traveled to from Leh. It took us a few hours. And there, as I walked through the golden barley fields and the little rivulets reflecting the sunlight amidst the purple, blue and grey and pink mountains, I saw this elderly gentleman walking with two heavy cans of water. I walked up, offered to carry the cans for him and he gave me one. We walked on. As we walked, I realized that he was also from the field of education. We spoke about children, about learning, about classrooms, had very interesting conversations and he was a maths teacher, turns out, with the government schools. In fact, he had visited Hyderabad, my city. He spoke about his memories of coming there for training in the 1980s. Then we reached his home. He invited me there and there was a lovely wife who spoke not a single word of Ladakhi, but we conversed in smiles and gestures after that. The first thing she did was come with a plate full of chuli, the Ladakhi word for apricot. 100% hospitality that you receive each time you go to a Ladakhi house, loads and loads of apricot chuli. I enjoyed the chuli and the conversations and the photo albums they showed me, both of them younger versions standing in front of the Nagarjan Sagar in Hyderabad how they met when the first time he got his posting in a government school in her village and many other really wonderful conversations. After which he took me to a pillar right outside their house and pointed out to an inscription. The inscription was the names of the martyrs from their village who had fought and protected their village from attacks from the neighboring country. He also took me down a little alley there was a simple wooden door and when that lock was opened, it opened into a lovely little monastery with beautiful statues of Buddha and the Bodhisattvas. We spent a little time there in silence. And as I left, he gave me a little photo and said, this is for your protection and safety, take care. I returned with beautiful memories of Hemis Shukpacha, not just the mountains and the stream and the rivulets, but also the people there. Like, share and subscribe.